Hello everyone. I am Dr. Shivdasan Madhavan, Associate Professor of English, Olay Tasoda University. Today I am going to talk about linking the philosophical concepts ontology, epistemology, methodology and axiology. These four concepts are interlinked. First, ontology. Ontology is the study of being, being of reality. Reality can be of two types, single reality or multiple reality. Single reality is realism, multiple reality is relativism. So that is knowledge. Knowledge can be either single reality or multiple reality. Or knowledge can be realism or relativism. So that is knowledge. Knowledge is the justifiable true belief. When a researcher is hunting knowledge, he is trying to get justifiable true belief. Justifiable true belief means something that is given by the researcher must be justifiable, it must be true and it must be believable. For example, if somebody says that uh, human beings walked on the moon, then there must be the proof, justifiable. You can show the newspaper uh, articles about the people entering the moon and walking on the moon, etc. So that is justifiable and it must be true. It cannot be imaginary and it must be believable. So believable, true, justifiable ideas, that is knowledge. And the study of this knowledge is epistemology. Epistemology is also uh, dichotomous. There are two aspects, emic and etic. Emic means from inside, etic means from outside. It can be like that. Or philosophical epistemology has uh, two branches. One is empirical and the other one is rational. That is empirical knowledge and rational knowledge. Empirical knowledge is based on experience and observation. But rational knowledge is based on reason and logic. So the study of epistemology, it must be there. So when a researcher starts the work, he starts uh, from nothing but he will have a, a slight idea. This might be like this or uh, this may be like this, etc. For example, I told you the other day that a researcher who begins the research will be like a man who uh, rides the uh, horse which is not tamed much. That means riding a wild horse. So researcher in the beginning will be like a, a person who rides a wild horse. He doesn't know where to go and uh, he doesn't know how to control the horse. And at the end he will reach where he wants. So this way and that way by trial and error method he will reach uh, somewhere that means he will be taken to somewhere by the horse but research is not like that actually research is the whole research can be uh, the activities between doxology and epistemology doxology means uh, something what is believed to be true and epistemology is something that is known to be true. So between these two ideas, uh, between what is believed to be true and what is known to be true. So first he starts with what is believed to be true. He thinks that it will be like this and he starts asking questions and investigating and at last he comes to know what is known to be true. Then he will have his proof he will have uh, justifications and it will be true and it will be believable. So that is epistemology. So in that case epistemology is an essential part of research, any research. And when you come to this type of uh, narrowing the investigation and uh, shaping the activities, then you need the methodology. That means how to get, how and why, that is methodology, how and why of research. Methodology is why and how.
for how and why and methods means the tools the techniques the process of research and etymologically methodology means the study of methods but methodology is the how and why of research but methods means the tools the equipment the process of doing research and methodology also has another dichotomy that is inductive study and deductive study inductive study means uh, qualitative study deductive study means quantitative study so quantitative means unbiased but qualitative means biased that means in qualitative study the views ideas opinions may vary it may change from person to person so when you investigate some uh, qualitative aspect you will have different ideas it may not be accurate but quantitative study will be unbiased it will be accurate it will be numerical based on mathematical calculations or statistical calculations uh, it will be accurate so these two studies are also there or these two methods are there inductive method and deductive method and when you find out the uh, truth or the knowledge then you come to the value axiology axiology deals with the value of research what value does it have so that is the study of uh, axiology and axiology also uh, has the dichotomy that is uh, values that guide the researcher and values that come out of the result of the research so there are two types of values and these values means the social commitment of the research or the social commitment of the researcher what's the use of the research what does it what does it do to the society or to the community if it is useless no need of it so this shows the exact abstract ideas behind the philosophical aspects of research so this is the the, the x ray of the structure of research which we don't see or which no one knows only the uh, serious researchers know so when you conduct the research you start from your ignorance and you come to the knowledge at the end that means believable true and justifiable ideas will be the result of your research so for that these philosophical ideas are very essential that is the importance of the linking of these philosophical aspects and that's enough for today and i will come up with some other subjects next time until then thank you